Good morning, YouTube. It is August 30th, 2022. I'm just about to head out to go to work. I really wish I wasn't though, because it's going to be really, really hot today. And um, I have to ride this afternoon. It's going to be hot. It's going to be a very hot ride. So I wish I was going to the barn instead of going to work right now. But that's kind of the life of a non-pro. You have to put your other responsibilities before your horse in a lot of cases which sometimes sucks but just the way it is when you're not a professional horse trainer I guess but we will get through this day I'm working eight and a half hours today and should hopefully be in the saddle by 5 p.m this afternoon All right, we are done work for the day and I am now on my way to the barn, changed out of my office clothes into my riding clothes and now I'm walking to the barn. So I live on the opposite side of the quarter section from where the barn is. So it's about a, I don't know, five minute walk, I guess, to go see the horses. It's really hot out and there's like the slightest hint of a breeze. So we're definitely gonna get sweaty this afternoon, but that is okay. So we will saddle Diesel up and I will introduce you guys to Diesel and Junior. So Diesel and I just finished up our ride and it was very very hot um we're not used to this in alberta so it's it is hot um <clears throat> so i will introduce you this is diesel his registered name is cd shiner's kit kat he is a three-year-old registered Quarter horse gelding, he is sorrel, he is 14-3, and he is by, what's your daddy's name? Uh, oh, why can't I remember it? His, the stud he's out of is, oh, uh, Sugar Catman, right? Is that what it is? Sugar's Catman? Um, by CD Quarter Horses out of Swift Current, Saskatchewan. I've had him since May and very excited for big things to come with Mr. Diesel. He's just the best. <laughs> He's so goofy. <clears throat> and then we have the OG, Junior. Uh, registered name, checks my go Poco. Uh, he is a 22-year-old registered quarter horse gelding, also sorrel. He's like 16'2", hands high. I've had him since he was six, and he's now 22. He is cutting bread, um, competed at the Canadian Supreme in the cutting as a three-year-old. I've done pretty much everything and anything on him. He's been in 4-H, we've done Gymkhana, barrel racing, rodeoing. Um, a bit of roping, some showing, pretty much anything. He's pr he's retired, especially since I got Diesel. I can't even re remember the last time I rode Junior. He's just a stiff old man at this point. So he's just enjoying retired life. And he's much more stoic and less personable than Diesel. Diesel likes to kind of get in your face and, you know, just say hello. Whereas Junior is just kind of like, leave me alone, where's my food? So, um, I'm going to get these boys their supper um, and tuck them in for the night and we will call it a day. I wanted to do a bit of a quick voiceover here. So this is me just getting Diesel ready to go ride. The first thing I do every time before I ride is pick out his feet, make sure there's no rocks and everything's ready to go. Good to go with his feet. Um, I have my five-star saddle pad and a Western Rawhide reining saddle. 
the saddle actually came with Diesel and I tried it out and I liked it so it came with him. I bought them together and um, today I'm just putting on bell boots, no other uh, sport boots or anything like that and we're ready to go. So today I decided I wanted to work on some transitions so we're going to do some trot lope transitions today. I have not worked on these with Diesel. I've been working on getting him round but I haven't really worked on keeping the roundness in our transitions and well roundness just all around needs to be worked on with us so that was kind of what the goal was today just got kind of get a baseline of where we're at um, here I'm just at the trot asking him for some roundness and then we pick up the lope and right away there you can see him tossing his head up when we move into the lope which not great <laughs> not great at all I don't like seeing that um I knew he was doing it but like watching the video I'm like oh boy we have work to do and you can see here too when I'm asking him to uh, you know drop his head give me some softness and stuff like that I'm tending to pull back and fairly low which is just a habit of me riding two-handed and being taught that way but the end goal with reining is to ride one-handed and when you ride one-handed you can't collect your horse up like that you need to just pick your hand up and they should collect and get round which I'm not doing that here I'm definitely pulling like back towards my hips you can see so that's definitely something I'm going to need to work on with my riding and I really need to work on insisting he maintain that roundness like I watching this video I can see like I'm letting him get away with this which I should not be uh, I I kind of knew it while I was riding but watching it it makes it much more obvious um He's, he's, yeah, he's, see, tossing his head. And another thing I noticed here, as we're loping to the right, Diesel has a tendency to push his right shoulder out. And I did not notice this when I'm, when I'm riding, but as I'm watching this, I can really see that he's actually tipping his nose to the outside of our circle. And that, of course causes that inside shoulder to drop in which we don't want we'd if anything we want his eye tipped a little bit to the inside tip his nose to the inside but here he's pushing it to the outside so I'm going to need to be really diligent about watching that because like I said I did not notice that while I was riding him during this another thing is actually asking him for a bit more from his face I tend to be really gentle with my hands. I'm not used to having the horse in my hands. So just asking more from him, I think, will help with our collection and our transitions and all that roundness, too. So that was enough for that little segment of my ride. And I'm just going to stop him here and uh, back up. I try every time when I stop my horse to also back up. And I'm just looking for some energy in his feet and just for him to soften his face right there. And then I release and let him chill out. And then when I stop and in between drills and whatnot, I'll flex my horse laterally. Diesel is stiff on his left side. So by flexing to the right, we can stretch that stiff side out a bit. And so that's what I'm doing here, just flexing on the one side I've really really been focusing on trying to even him out a bit so by doing stuff like this in between our drills I'm working to get him as balanced and as even and as similar on both sides as possible and you can see even when I picked up there he kind of tipped, tipped his nose to the left and that's just because his left side is tighter so he tends to tip his nose that way 
So all things we will need to work on going forward. Okay, so I'm going to end the video there. Short and sweet for the first one, just to kind of break myself into this whole YouTube process. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any video suggestions, things you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. For those of you who don't know, I do have a podcast. It's called Strong in the Saddle. So it's on most podcast apps. So be sure to check that out. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Strong in the Saddle. Subscribe here on YouTube. And remember, it's always a good day to ride.